Hi all, welcome back to our channel, My Project Ideas. In this tutorial, we will see how to install Reflex Framework and run it on our system. Reflex Framework is a pure Python UI framework. Reflex.dev is the official website of Reflex. So you can, if you have any questions or queries regarding Reflex, you can go through the whole documentation. Everything is here is properly well documented. Still, you have any queries or questions, you can put it down in the comment section. Let's move forward. These are the steps. I have noted down the steps, so it's easier for you to follow them. The first thing you need is Python 3 on your system. So let's, if you don't have Python 3 already installed, you can go to this particular website, python.org slash download. My, the system that I'm using is Mac OS. This website will automatically detect your system OS and it will recommend the correct Python version for you. So click on download and download the Python version and install it. Installation steps are very simple. I've already installed Python. These are the commands to check whether your Python is installed properly or not. The first thing we need to check is Python version. Python 3 space hyphen hyphen version. If it shows you the Python version, that means Python is successfully installed on your system. Second, we will also check pip version. Let me check this. PIP3 space hyphen hyphen version 23.2.1. So this is also properly installed. Let's create a project folder, the project that you want to create. I've created a folder called Reflex. You can give any name you want. Once you created this folder, what you need to do is use open command prompt in that folder. Okay. And then you need to run this particular command, Python 3 space hyphen M space VNV space dot VNV. What this command does is basically it will create a virtual environment for you. Reflex runs in a virtual environment. This command does that for you. Plus dot VNV is a directory that is created with this name. This directory or this folder is a hidden folder, so you won't actually see anything. Plus, it won't give you any output in the command prompt also. But don't worry if this, there's no error. If it's not showing you error, that means it's success. Okay. This dot venv is a folder where your uh, virtual directory as well as the dependencies for it are going to be installed. Okay. So let's move on to the next command. This is our next command. This is going to activate your virtual environment. So once you run this command, you will see this particular syntax dot venv. That means your virtual environment is activated and currently your command prompt is in your virtual environment. Let's move on. Now we will install reflex. PIP install reflex is a command to install reflex. Reflex is installed. Let's move to the next step. We need to initialize reflex. Reflex in it. Once you initialize, once you run Reflex in it, it will ask you which template do you want to get started with. We will use the minimal template, the blank one. It gives you two options, blank and sidebar. Let's go with the blank one. I'll write blank, hit enter. You see some folders are being created. These are my project folders that were generated once I hit Reflex in it. Okay, so this is actually my files. rxconfig.py is my root file that runs initially. App name reflex means this is the folder. Inside this folder, you can create your components. Okay. How do we run reflex? You can directly go ahead and run. So we can run this using reflex run. Reflex run runs your project in dev mode. And in dev mode, you have the capability of fast reloading or it's also called hot reloading if you do any changes in your code if you hit save it will automatically refresh your running project so my app is running at localhost 3000 let's open it so my app was successfully run this is the blank template that i had used it has very simple functionalities like dark mode and light mode some text and a checkout or docs 
link. So friends, so friends, this is how you can run a reflex project. To stop this, you just need to do control C. It will stop your reflex project from running and to get out or deactivate or stop your virtual environment, you just need to write deactivate and it will come out from the virtual environment. Thank you friends for watching. See you in our next video.